Good morning, Queen Anne's County. I'm here with uh, C Money Reese. Today is February 3rd. It is a Friday. And to start things off, we're going to kick it over to Corey. Today's weather is mostly sunny. We have It's currently 32 degrees outside. It's a high of 40 and a low of 18. If you go out tonight, dress warm or die. Back over to the desk. Today for lunch, it's a grilled cheese sandwich. And then all the regular stuff. Now, back to Brody with sports. Uh, the swim team had a great night last night. And uh, we had some finishes from Giles Stanton, Bobby Fink, Daniel Mora, Noah Kramer, Quinlan Justice, Thomas Redpath, Mason Heinefeld, no- Nolan Co- Corcoran, Samuel Mora, and Jacob Gardner for the, m- for the boys. And for the girls, we had Elle McLean, Sydney Harris, Brenna McLean, Bianca Baker, Caroline Kimball, Morgan Morris, Sophia Melendez, Emma Kelly, and Ashley Alfaro Reyes. In basketball news, the boys won 69 to 58 over Cambridge last night, and uh, KJ had 18 points. Samir had 17. Uh, the wrestling team also plays a KI today, so make sure you're there. Not a Nick. Today, today we have George Washington Carver for African American history. Uh, he was born a slave um, in Missouri on a Missouri farm in 1865. Carver became the first black student and the first black faculty, faculty member at what is now Ohio State University. He used his ag- agricultural research to help black farmers become more self-sufficient and less reliant on cotton, the major cash crop of the South. In all, he developed 300 products from peanuts and 118 from sweet potatoes, in addition to new products from waste materials including recycled oil and paints and stains from clay. His uh, innovations have been credited with the South's economic survival in the early part of the 20th century. He's most commonly known for the invention of peanut butter. Now back to the desk. So for today's career corner, we're just going back to the Queenstown golf course. In our mechanics room. So Prentice uh, or an intern would have a wide variety of stuff here from hydraulics to electronics uh, to small engines to bigger motors and then real maintenance. This uh, job or internship um, could be an intro to a lot of different fields, whether that's agricultural or a dealership that sells this type of equipment, or even slightly into automotive, because some of the stuff is similar. We may not be a master of everything, um, but we have to do a lot of different facets like welding or small fabrication. In the summertime, it's a lot of maintaining, and then in the winter, it's more rebuild and big projects. So this was my first job, and I kind of fell into it, and uh, I've been the equipment shop manager for 17 years. It's a good place to work. <laughs> the only requirement is you have to be 16 years old to operate the equipment. So uh, other than that, any and all are welcome to apply for any of these positions. The internship slash apprenticeship will be available starting in the spring and going through the fall. I think the biggest perk, other than enjoying the serene beauty around you on a daily basis, all employees get free golf. So if you already play golf or you're looking to play golf, you know, why not work a little, play a little. More information, look for rack cards at businesses and schools or use the website below. For the fun fact of the day, Trey Leaguer is deaf in one ear.